My name's Adana. Um, I popped it because you seem very tired, like an extra in Friday. Like, like Big Smokey. A woman who accused former Dodger Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has now been indicted. A woman who accused former Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has been charged with fraud in Arizona. I'm a product of a bitter baby mama. My mama was a bitter baby mama to the, to the max. Uh, my mama hated my dad so much until she hated me. She pushed him away, but she kept herself out of my life also. I pulls up the church's chicken. The lady said my order was $14 and something. I go in my purse to pull out the $100 bill. I done fooled around and put the $100 bill in the offering. I sped away from the drive through window. I told the pastor I made a mistake, put the wrong bill. He gonna say, Sister Tasha, you can't take back from the church. And there we go. Hey. Is that easy, baby? <laughs> This your old pack. <laughs> Wait a minute. I feel like Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's Groundhog Day today, everybody. It's Groundhog Day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, tea out the closet. I feel like, what? Uh, I mean. Be careful. I mean, you said Groundhog Day. I'm sorry. Up, I'm now. sorry. Tea, tea came out the hole. <laughs> Ain't no classes over here for me, y'all. Please believe that. <laughs> oh, man. What the plot is going to cut the mic a little bit? Why well, I got to cut the mic, dog? When we, uh, you know, we back now. So, hey. Yeah. Hey, we ain't got to do that, man. We ain't got to do that. Look. We here. We here. Yeah, we, listen, man. The first video, we were talking about uh, former MLB pitcher Trevor Bauer and the former Balloon Show contestant, that is facing 16 years in prison, 16 years for falsely accusing multiple men of a sexual assault and extorting. Yeah, this uh, is this is obviously this woman's job. This is how she makes money. So, hey, yeah, yeah, I mean, what goes she, around comes around. Yeah, listen, she's trying to get in where she fit in. Yeah, and, and she about to be fit in that that with that that eight that that, eight eight by eight cell. Is that the measurements of it? Uh, how you know? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> I mean, let's let Peanut play this. We, look, we're going to run the first video. Let's do this right now. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. My name's Adana. Um, I popped it because you seem very tired, like an extra in Friday. Like, like Big Smokey. A woman who accused former Dodger Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has now been indicted. A woman who accused former Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has been charged with fraud in Arizona. A grand jury indictment unsealed Monday accuses Darcy Adana Esmonu of fraud and theft by extortion against Bauer and another man. Esmonu sued Bauer, saying he raped her and got her pregnant in 2020. Bauer says she demanded money to terminate the pregnancy, but later said she had a miscarriage. Bauer posted a five-minute video on YouTube responding to the indictment and addressing allegations at large for the first time in months. Here's the thing. She never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In the countersuit, Bauer's lawyers claim she took the money for the abortion and went to Philadelphia to get LASIK eye surgery. There are women that will try and ensnare you and extort you for money. And if they uh, come out with these claims and they smear your reputation, they can destroy your career. We tried reaching out to Asmonu and her legal team, but were unsuccessful. Her next court date is next week, and she could face more than 16 years if convicted on both charges. I can imagine. Yeah, you know what? Oh, my you gosh. Know <sighs> the newscaster said they mentioned they can destroy your career. Trevor should know. Trevor, you should. Trevor should have known better. Yes. You yes. should have known better. Now, I at know that, at that status, at such financial and economic and social status where he yeah. is, he needs to be smarter with his decisions. Yeah. But hold up. Before we get any further, did y'all see that Lowe's got on my color? He was in my he was in my window today when I was getting dressed. <laughs> I like it. Oh, Lord. I like what she got on. <laughs> He's a mess. She got on black panties. I got black drawers. Shut up. 
<laughs> no, but, but, you know what I mean? But Trevor should have made her sign an NDA. And he, I, I didn't hear anything about somebody wearing protection. Obviously because not. if you were, if you were to wore protection, he, he wouldn't, he wouldn't that even probably thought, wouldn't have came up. Right, because he was like, wait a minute, how are you even pregnant if I wore, you know, protection? Yeah. So obviously he didn't. So, I mean, he, he need to be better. He's too old for, to be making uh, decisions like that. And don't get me wrong. Yes, you can be in a moment, but you don't know this girl. They live off of stuff like that. They live. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. She, he was a target, obviously. From the rip. Obviously. From the rip. You know what I mean? But yeah. And listen, man, I know I know temptation get at you sometimes. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, and when you especially when you pet and hot wild. and heavy and you grinding. But first of all, this is wow. How are you gonna make some type of uh uh allegation like that? At least make sure that you got some kind of like substantiated claim. How you did pregnancy tests come up negative? Don't you know that this stuff is like those medical records yeah. are everywhere now? Yeah. Anybody got access? Well, that's supposed to have access, but you're not going to sit here and go to court and say I was pregnant. You had me get an abortion and then the pregnancy test was negative. Dummy. <laughs> what, what he used to say, big dummy. Big dummy. You big, you <laughs> big, big dummy. dummy. <laughs> but I mean, I would say this in Trevor's defense. Oh, here you go. Because, you know, yo, man, I, I, listen, I got I got to stand for my guys and my men. I'm a man. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In Trevor's defense. I don't think that the L.A. Dodgers, because if that was a team that he was pitching for at the time, should have cut him loose without everything coming well, out. you know what? To Although them, it may be you know, embarrassing. No, yeah, because to them, it's about, their, it's about their reputation. And and that's what a lot of them them teams, um, if, if if he's going through that, to them, it's going to make them, to the, the way they're thinking is that it's going to make them look bad. Yeah, yeah well... That's what they Come do. On, but some of the shit that the even, the day, even those executives he's, do. He's a human because they do it too. He's yeah. a human. So, yeah. hey, it is what it is. And I I'm not, I just I just think that is bullshit. I mean, he was a Cy Young pitcher. The, the motherfucker could. Oh, excuse my language. I'm sorry. You know, Mama Deucey looking at Not the what? He could. He still can. He see, uh, the ball could throw. Yeah. The ball could, he could throw. Yeah. He could throw. So, look, let's go to the comments. Son. All right. So, comment number one from True American. This B, I'm not going to use the curse word, <laughs> this B single handedly destroyed the Me Too movement. No. No. Nah, you don't think so, nah, T? Nope. Because she's Seriously. not the only one. No. Mm mm. Because she's not the only one that's, she's not that's, the only one. that's falsely targeting yep. men. It's a lot. Even even men that's not of his high social status, we see it every day in these streets. Come on. In your Look at the screets. Let me let me let me <laughs> say it. it. Let me say it, you know, with the ebonic yeah. screets with a K. <laughs> you know how we say it in Philly? Screets. <laughs> <laughs> and you so, throw force on come here to get your lazy eyes. You, you got these chicks that don't want to work. Uh-huh. And let's just say they get pregnant by these guys so they can make whatever money and get whatever money from the guys and then here they are hustling and struggling to make ends meet. <sighs> so it's not it's so the, not just of that economic status. It's that's yeah. what some you got some women that just do that in general. So the Me Too movement just completely kaput. Look, you know I don't believe it. Look, I, I got my own you know separate thoughts on the Me Too movement. So let's go to comment <laughs> number two because we can we can go on for that well, one. Well, damn. <laughs> All right, comment number two. Comment number two from Duty. So Duty says she was going to pull that same scam if anybody would have picked her from that pop the right, balloon show. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah. And she and I'm I'm pretty sure this is what she does. Not just him, That's her thing. that guy, whoever that may looks like they are studious and have a little bit of a couple of coins. Oh yeah, she's she on she them. on a top. Oh yeah, definitely. If I'm making almost three hundred million dollars, you gonna look better than that. I'm sorry. And I ain't like I don't like talking about nobody looks. Goddamn. <laughs> But if when you making big, when you make MLB money, look, man, you supposed to be messing with the top three hundred fours, man. I'm sorry, guys. really, really, yeah. yeah. Me t- what? Okay, you because like, I know, what? Look, I know you and CJ talk about how y'all be dealing with the boomer wolves or whatever y'all call them. That's because we <laughs> are low on the social economic status, goddamn. When you making three hundred million dollars. Oh. Oh, you make it your what? Let me tell you, your prostitutes supposed to be looking like. Uh, but why she got you, me? Uh, well, yeah, she was definitely a prostitute. But at his financial status, 
you have escort services. Yeah. Professional services yeah. that you can use. So, therefore, like yeah. I said, it's no All excuse. flavors. It's no excuse. No excuse. All flavors. I'm like talking. He, he, he could have done better. He could have done so much what? better. Butter, butter, like pecan, butter. Puerto Rican. <laughs> you want to go China. back to that? You know what? <laughs> I ain't talking to you right now. Look, look. You know, hold on. I got to turn my back on. Oh, see, see, now he's turning his back on me. Like, now, man, that's really? your podcast. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I hope we, hey, listen, we got a good show for y'all tonight. Whatever, whatever. Is it really, really lows? <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, she going to diss me like that. I'm just saying that Trevor's going to be my, he's going to be messing with the top. Look, I, how about, you know, how about the age, regardless I know they hold, of, but they're the how about regardless of, her, of your social economic status, you social always economic deal status. with, how about you always try to think top notch, go with the top tier, like really? Well, for one, and stop dealing with as you and CJ call them booger wolves, whatever the hell they are. Well, for one, <laughs> it's hard to think like that because when you get that post nut clarity, uh, you like, damn, whatever. did I wake up to you? Yeah, <laughs> hey, you wake up to a booger wolf. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah, man. So wait, hold up. What the? Oh, Charles Monroe, man. What's good, Charles? Goddamn, man. What, welcome to the party, guys. Let me get Charles some love right now. Let me get y'all some love. So what, what did Charles say? What about my man Trevor said? Trevor was just trying to get his sweet blackberry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That wasn't ain't no. She wasn't sweet. I mean, well, she had the complexion of a sweet well, blackberry, she, but she was a dried up blackberry. But <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She got me spitting. <laughs> So CJ, shall we go to the he second part? He ain't here cutting up as usual. Yeah, let's go to let's go to video. Um for the <laughs> pop the balloon young lady. <laughs> Is she a lady though? Really? Can, I mean, does, she's does a she lady. even deserve to be called a lady? Can, I mean, yeah, she a female, well, but I mean that's by default. All right, whatever. You know, that's by default. All right. So now we we talked about who she's trying to who she tried to get. Mm-hmm. So now we're gonna talk about the 16 years in prison that she's facing. Okay, yeah, and I'm surprised. You know that's, I mean? that's all and she going to get. Yeah, yeah, 16 years <laughs> in prison she's faced. And this is from Trevor Bauer himself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This is his side of the story. That's why they always say. It's always two sides to a story and then like the truth in the, the middle. Truth. Yeah. Hey. How how we do with you? What? You know what what I mean? about me? Our side. Look, I ain't truth, paying you no mind. Your side. Whatever. <laughs> I'll always tell the truth. Yeah, whatever. So... <laughs> Stop talking, it's Gia talking now. Podcast. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Darcy Don Asimono has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020. Nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it. Take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing. She never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. Uh, when I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In that version of her story, she claimed for the first time, by the way, uh, that there was non-consensual sex, but her texts from the next morning show what actually happened. Remember this text in which she explains why she came on to me? Uh, she also claims that instead of an abortion, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible, of course, because again, she was never even pregnant. Uh, we now have emails between her and the first two law firms that dropped her, in which they acknowledge they never had any evidence to support her claims, but they'll try to get my money anyway. I then shared an audio recording I have in which Adana contradicts her own claims and asks me for money. In the emails, her lawyers agreed that that's insurmountable evidence, and they informed Donna that they can no longer represent her unless she can provide documentation or proof of her claims. And of course, she couldn't do that, so the law firm urged her to consult other law firms with different standards. 
Now, Adana has filed more than 10 police reports claiming sexual assault or harassment against other men, including at least one other professional athlete. But after the Scottsdale police completed their investigation into her claim against me, she's the one being indicted for felony fraud. And not just against me, against another man as well. Uh, she made up bogus sexual assault claims and attempted to extort him too. And it gets worse. In my lawsuit against her, we subpoenaed a witness whom she knew for relevant documents to use in our case. And when she found out, she immediately made sexual assault claims against him too. Uh, her MO is clear. Lie to men to get their money, extort them if she must, and when they refuse to pay, stop paying or stop giving her what she wants, go to the police, accuse them of sexual assault, and file a civil suit against them to retaliate. I think she would be somebody that probably could be my A, 1A if I were to run my business and include her in it. And, um, and what, 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 what's partner. the cut? If be my partner. A partner. Look, she said, what's the cut? But then she's like, the wait cut? a minute, hold up. You saw her face? Yeah, what's she, the cut? Like, oh, wait a minute. She's like, wait a minute. How much can I get? <laughs> uh, what's the cut? See, dealing with these 304s, as y'all call them. These 304s. Uh, man, first man. of all. First of all. First of all. All right, what? Thir second of all. <sighs> that chick is facing 16 years. In Deserve it. And <clears throat> because she's going to continue to keep doing it. Trevor, somebody, somebody man, to shut her down. Yeah, Trevor, yo, let me tell you something. I, I can set Trevor up with some some better looking three hundred fours than that one right there. How about they don't even have to be three hundred fours? Like I said, with his money, he can use an escort service. Pay for yeah. it. That's that's legal. You know, you 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 protect yeah. it always. Cause look, they gotta sign certain documentation. Yeah, do that. Be smart. Professionals, man. Deal or with professionals. You're just a professional. have have a girlfriend. Deal with professionals. But then again, he had a wedding ring on his finger, so I don't know if he's married now. Well, if it is, I think he's married now. Yeah, you so, know what I mean. But so if he's married now, he don't even have to worry about it no more. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure he's scarred now. He, we need to get him back <laughs> in the MLB. Come on, Phillies, get him. The boy, the boy still can throw. I said him hey. before, I'm the boy can throw. Yeah. The boy can throw that ball. Yeah, but you know what? If anybody probably looking at him, probably thinking like, hold up. We don't need the, him the acting up. up. Right. Well, I'm sorry. If, it if messed Mike up his Vick, reputation at this point. If Mike Vick can get back in the NFL for this, I know he can get back in the MLB. Come on. First of all, El Plaga, 14. Tell him why you know so much about this team. Hold up. First of all, let's, let's correct that. Because following them baseball players, they make a lot of money. <laughs> let's correct that. My name is Honey Dip T. As a matter of fact, hold up. Can y'all, can y'all, can I, can you get close? Get close. Hold, hold up. What's that Yeah, say? put it in the camera. Hold up. What'd that say? Can you read that? Yeah, honey, honey Dip, dip T. Okay. <laughs> what? So, fix my name first. And what are you talking about why I know so much? I'm just saying, just in general, you got a lot of these quote-unquote 304s and that's what they do. Hey, you know that, El Plaga. You do it too, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I mean? You know, Plaga signed many NDAs. Look, let me tell you something. <laughs> I, I learned I learn from CJ and Carlo because, you know, you know, that's what they pick up. They pick up these 304s. So, hey. Oh, he turning his back on me again? <laughs> So what we got, man? What we got? So shall we go to the... Uh, <laughs> I'm about to go to the comment, but Plog typing. I'm like, come on. I'm not talking about the baseball players. I'm talking about the call girls. <laughs> well, how you know about it? You just call them call girls. I call them escort service. It is what it is. I mean, come on. Everybody should know about an escort service. Yeah. I mean, listen, ain't nothing wrong. You look, Listen, man, you don't pay your hoe to stay, you pay your hoe to leave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my motto. You know what I mean? Oh, Listen. Gosh. $100 on the dresser. You know what I mean? Make sure you take that on your way out. <laughs> Uh-oh, Frankfurt, we got the 215. Got a 215 in the building? <laughs> yes! Got 215 in the building? What's up? You what know how it is. The show. <laughs> I mean, just doing podcasts, man. So you gotta stop doing that cocaine, man. Well, man, man, what are you talking about? I wish y'all the best, for real, for real. I like the energy y'all give, man. Yes. Hey, hey, man, Philly, dog, you know how we do. Yes, 215. Thank you for yeah, joining. Man. So make sure you subscribe, like, and thank you for commenting. Yeah, man, you heard the woman. Yes, the woman. Uh, woman is honey dip uh, tea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, he done already turned his back on me twice. That's the most you did in one show. So you know what? Let's just go to the video number three because you know what? Me and Lowe's, we gonna end up fighting. <laughs> hey, listen. 
I sneak you. Oh, now, Lord. Don't get it twisted. Oh, now. I don't fight fair. Oh, you a punk? Oh, what? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, so you know what? To, you ain't, I'm trying to get it set up, man. You know what I mean? You got me You're all messed up. You're supposed to already flustered, be ready. Man. What you mean, set up? That way, hey, woman? Don't play me. You know what? I thought he learned. Don't y'all. play me. He was doing good for a couple of weeks where he, I, he had to say not one time, let me get this ready. He just pressed play. Now today he just cutting up. You know what? CJ is supposed to be here to keep you on point. Wait, but then again, wrong? CJ, he, he ain't no better man. sometimes either. Crickets so at, hey. Well, yeah. you know, mate, well, <laughs> well, CJ couldn't make the night because his Instagram got hacked. It was recording of him having sexual relationships. <laughs> With himself, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? El Plaga, he, he, he said. Grunting. He said, "Don't worry, I turned my back too." You don't know, forget both of y'all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 I'm here. Look, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, see that? He was it. He was recording <laughs> talking about. Mm, okay, sweet foot. <laughs> Oh man, this is your podcast, <laughs> man. This joint. <laughs> so look, video video number three. Is it ready? So, yeah, it's ready. Okay. Stop interrupting. All right. Jeez, just like a black woman. What? Mm. <laughs> All right. We got a man that's explaining that his mama was a bitter baby mama. Uh oh. Uh oh. So many of them I did. Yeah. And he's telling us exactly what he went through. Okay. Yeah, let's hear this, y'all. We're going to let Peanut kick this off? All right, let's let Peanut kick this off. It's this Jump Podcast. Oh, Let's go. What's good, my friends? We back again. Thanks for stopping by. I'm a product of a bitter baby mama. My mama was a bitter baby mama to the to the max. Uh, my mama hated my dad so much until she hated me. She pushed him away, but she kept herself out of my life also. Um... When I first realized that my mom was a bitter baby mama, that was devastating to me because oftentimes men get labeled a deadbeat. But if you look at it, my mama was a deadbeat because of what she did and the angle she took. Because when you when you go that route, you really beat your you really beat your kid out of both parents because you push the, the dad's gone and the kid can't really get the true mom because she has so much hatred and bitterness and anger in her. So she couldn't really, so if you ask me, my mom really couldn't love me like she should have because she had no room in her heart for for me because she replaced it with the same anger that she had for my dad. So here it is, it's, it's, it's July of 2024 and I haven't seen or talked to my mom this year. Um, my spirit doesn't connect with her. Uh, I never think about my mom, I never miss her. Uh, she never comes up in my in my in my mind, and I know I shouldn't feel that way, but I do. Uh, so, ladies, when you when when you go down this route, you know, as a single parent, and if you have so you have anger towards your toward, towards the father of your kids, I want you to think about me, because what my mom did, it changed the whole course of my life. The person you see is a result of what she did. That's crazy. Selfishness, man. Right. You know what? He looked like, he looked like Jonathan Majors. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, he did to me. Oh, shit, I thought he looked like Lee Majors. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but you know what? That's crazy because you know what? I mean. Th- that is so common. It's so common and it's so heard too, all too often where you have these women, they get upset. And a lot of times these women, they get pregnant. And I, I know women that were, or females that would get mm-hmm. pregnant by the guys. For the premise of, okay, you know what? If I get pregnant by him and have a baby, it's going to keep him around. No, it does not. But see, uh, those are the ones who don't know the damage that they do. Right. When their but children get older. But now you got the child that's in the middle. And now you creating this whole dysfunctional lifestyle for this child. Yeah. In which you don't realize this dysfunction carries on. So now this child is going to become an adult. And now they dysfunctional. So sad to say, you know, they, they say all the time, you only get one mother, but you also only get one father, too. Are you going to deal with your own mental health or keep dealing with this? Yeah, well, they got to grow at some point. Baby mama. Hold up. We got this comment. You know what, CJ? You get on my nerves. He just said he looked like Big Red from the Five Heartbeats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he would have bust out, started singing oh, on your ass, boy. <laughs> but you know what like yeah but that's just this it's just all too common because now you got you got these women 
that that are so disgruntled and you know they just because they miserable mm -hmm. they want to mm -hmm. make everybody else miserable so now you know you got the father because they're not emotionally stable <clears throat> now they're going to leave and now you got the child yeah. like he said that don't have a, a a good lifestyle and or a good relationship with either mother or father yeah that's why it's so important for me, uh, us men man god man we got to we gotta stop just knocking off these fucking. Oh damn! I ain't mean to curse. Hold up. These hoochie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a Sorry, minute. Because with protection. Video protection. number one and two was about that. Y'all just look. Didn't I just say that? Using, but I mean, ain't no wrong with oh, it getting you little thingy thing. See, you a little like, bit of uh. Y'all like these three o fours. But I mean, you still gotta. You know, what I mean, you got you got to use protection. But y'all don't. And then y'all be leading these girls. See, he quiet. See, that means you know it's the truth. And then y'all be leading these girls on, thinking that they, that is something that it really isn't. And then when y'all keep tipping and tapping, dipping and dabbing, and then what happens is these chicks thinking, okay, you know what? I got a future with him. When at the end of the day, you just trying to get you off. Like, come <laughs> on. I'm just trying to give him my taco taco. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, should not, my you should not have a taco. I have a taco. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to get my pickle pickled. <laughs> I'm trying to get my pickled pickled. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. I mean, but, you know, you, you know, it, man, <laughs> man, you know what? Next video. Like, really? Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, let's go to the comments. Oh, let's go to the comments. All right, so the first comment is from an unnamed user says people need to start calling out their mothers that's true more often yeah. and that's the truth yeah for real for real if if your mom is a gut i mean no good for nothing right. jezebel call your mom right. out right because these women are just as bad and and disgruntled in whatever name that you want to call these yeah. men they just about as bad as they are yeah i mean we got we remember we seen videos of moms faking uh, pregnancy tests oh, and stuff yeah. like that i mean yeah with adult children come Crazy. on man yeah Call your mom out after after the after the fact it was like wait a minute uh you don't need to know about that what you mean i don't need to know this is my life like yeah. how you want to hide who my father is all these years i remember that video yeah. it was that boy yeah that's what i'm saying call your mama she was like why you do that obviously she was hiding something that that mom <laughs> yeah she was hiding something that lady, mom you a heifer <laughs> you're a lying heifer <laughs> <laughs> so we <laughs> so comment number two comment number two from crn ray my mother was and still is a bitter baby mama she literally blames everything on my father and consistently tells me and my twin she wish we were never born wow ain't that some bullshit that's crazy ain't that some bullshit that's crazy so you know it sounds like she got some hatred within herself and you know what she yeah. got some healing she need to do because that's some crazy crap to tell somebody like yeah. your kids at that. I wish you were never born. That's like, crazy. Oh Stop fucking. No, that's going to continue to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got? So, so let's go to one last comment. So one last comment from Blessed Black African eighty six S H I C I T. Can't like I can't spell right mm -hmm. now. I am thirty eight. And I am the same way. No contact with my so-called mother and sister. I no longer feel anything for either one of them. Wow. And, wow. and that's messed up, man. That's but messed up. Once again, like I said, it's like, you know, <clears throat> it's just pretty much setting that person up. When when you're not around or you treat a person like crap, what makes you think that they going to be part of your life once you get older? They're going to want to get away but, from but that. But you know what? A lot of these single mothers do not think like they don't think about what they're doing to these children all they think about is themselves they yeah. don't they don't think about 15 the trauma, 20 years right, from the now the, 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 the emotional yeah, the, trauma yes, that this yes, child gotta go through yes 15 20 years from now my child is going to hate me they don't think you know about I mean? it. all of the lying the right. years of lying you know what I mean? Your dad wasn't this. Your dad wasn't that. And then once that Look. child talked to their father and get his side of the story. So this is my thing. Because once again, we, we had this discussion before. Like I said, I'm a product of 
you know, that type of situation to an extent. Yeah. Like I came from a family where, okay, mom and dad was married, but then at some point separated and got divorced. So then it was like, okay, mother was like that. Mm-hmm. Right. However, my thing is, is as the responsibility has to fall on both mom and dad at some point, because yeah. it's like, okay, women, please, you got to understand whatever situation or whatever happened between you and the, the child's father has nothing to do with the child but you can't treat these kids like they pawns and that's what happens because yeah. now you got these kids that's in the middle of this battle and now they're they're forced to choose mom or dad, or dad. especially yeah. when they're yeah. young yeah like come on that's crazy look that's why we got so many guys out here that's like you and cj with these 304s <laughs> yeah, right uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She be like this. Are we together? Hey, I got mama issues now. I'm going to keep giving you this rock. <laughs> this is your podcast, man. Yeah, I mean, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Y'all tell us what you and think. And subscribe. Yeah, dang, God damn. So, we going to go to video. We on video number four, right? Number four. Video number four. Number four. All right, so video number four. The Rich, the Rich Summers Report. It's a show. Okay. You know what I mean? It's a YouTube show. Okay. Well, they dropped a clip titled The Real Reason He Has No Instagram. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Rich, tell okay. us the real reason why we got no Instagram, Rich. <laughs> Whatever. CJ. I want to know. He said he delivered with the three, four, is that three, four, five T's? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it's the Bitch Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. The men who cheat, ladies, do you want to know who the men who cheat are? You know who they are? They're the ones who don't even have an Instagram. The guys who make 500K a year and don't have an Instagram. You want to know they don't have an Instagram? Girls are like, I'm dating Bob and he's so busy. He doesn't have time for an Instagram. He's going to fly me out next week. I'm like, how come you don't live with Bob? Well, he's busy right now. It's like, no, Bob has a wife and kids. That's why he doesn't have an Instagram because he has a family he doesn't want you to know about. And these women live in delusion and actually think that they have a good man because he doesn't have an IG. Dude, it's so fucking true because I hear some girls say it all the time. Oh, I just met this guy in LA. Oh, he doesn't have Instagram. He doesn't like the social media stuff. He doesn't like the limelight. I'm like bullshit. That's two red flags right there. Ladies, you're, you're meeting a man in LA or San Diego who's rich and good looking and doesn't have an Instagram. Wake up. Like, how do you not understand what's happening? I don't know. So, hey, 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 hey. Hey, so, hey. In, in their defense, okay? Hey, come on. I, in our defense, yes. It, look, because I am not a social media person. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I get yeah, it. You suck. Shut the hell up. You suck. <laughs> but this is the thing. I get it. Now, these days, you got everybody that want to tag you and put your picture up and and you mm-hmm. can't. And there's nothing you can do because the minute somebody puts your picture up. But see, this is my thing. Okay, let's just say a girl do put a picture up. And because you don't have social media, you don't even know she put it up. So here it is. Your picture is just like floating around. No, but she can't tag you. She can't tag you, but... It'll just be on her feet. It's not going to be on your feet. Look, and I know females. Shout out to my girl, Cutney. Okay? Hold on, you say Cutty? Her name is Cutney. Courtney, but I call her Cutney. Okay, Cutty. Shout out to my girl, (laughs) Cutney. So... She is the investigation queen. Okay? So uh, she can find out whatever. She can find whatever. She got too much time on her hands. Let me tell you, when I tell you, she told me she found out. She needs somebody to take up this time. No. She, she needs somebody to take up her up, time. Shut up. <laughs> she found out. <laughs> of course, somebody asked her to, to find something. And she find she found out in less than a day. And this is Damn. in the whole in the whole other state. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is her calling a detective? Man, we, we both used to be like that to an extent, but it, I got I am delivered, like with like CJ said. Delivered oh with the T. <laughs> oh my god. Boy. So, like I don't have time for that stuff. Like and then at the end of the day, as they say, when you look for dirt, you're going to find it. Yeah, you will. So, you, you know will. what? At the end of the day, I'm setting myself up to get hurt. I mean, <laughs> listen. I know the reason why I don't have an Instagram. Cuz you got a bunch of holes and you married. <laughs> like he just In said. different area cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't, <laughs> I don't have an Instagram because you know I mean my Instagram is now disjoint podcast so I don't need no Instagram 
See, because I don't like none of them motherfuckers anyway. See, that's why I don't I don't agree with that video. I mean, I don't agree yeah. because you know, like, I mean, first of all, you know, what I mean, that's them giving up giving up tapes. You got a TikTok. You What's have it? a TikTok. Yes, I got titties. What you say? Oh my god! See, you know what? <laughs> Did you just show me? <laughs> what the hell do he not understand? I said tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Yes, I got a big cock. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because you were looking in my window in my closet this morning for you to have on the same color as me. So we're not going to even go here. <laughs> Yo, this this joint at the door. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do have a TikTok. Okay, so you got some kind of social media then. But I don't post to the TikTok. Okay. The only, the only thing I post to is Facebook because when I be at my Phillies game, you know what I mean? I'm in, I'm, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm, oh, 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 oh. You know, Lord, I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? With the white people. You know what I mean? Drinking. Oh, gosh. And they be having a good what? Um, That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, I remember but, going to a baseball but, game and yeah. they be. Oh. I remember those days when you know I was heavy on Facebook. You know, you take you take a picture with a girl yeah, and then she tag like you. And, don't tag me in right. that shit. Let me tell you something. You got to go into your settings. You got to go into it, it, your settings and your yeah. settings allow you not and to you block it. Right. For for nobody like if you don't know them or nobody whatever. Can't then, remember them, but and you then, definitely get And then I got like like 150 friends that sell t-shirts so they want to tag all their friends and oh fucking, my gosh they t- oh i got some cursing i'm sorry they want to tag all their friends in their little YouTube t-shirt business put him on punishment <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be on punishment yeah my mouth now need to be washed out with soap mm-hmm. yeah yeah what kind of soap yeah. that, that that milk soap <laughs> that, uh, that butter <laughs> pecan regan soap you know what? We already discussed this because I thought you said you wasn't going back to the, the Reekins. Okay? All right, big facts. Big facts. That's easy to say big facts. So, <laughs> oh, man. Did we do the comment? So no, let's go, go to ahead. the comment. So let's go to the comment. So the first comment was um, Hufflepuff Queen. What kind I mess name with is that. that? Okay. I, I, you know, I, I like Hufflepuff that. Hufflepuff Queen. Right. Hufflepuff Queen That's says different. even people who don't post anything still have an account to watch stuff from. Yes. Well, that's true. Yes, because, because they have more than one Instagram. They have, the, because, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. I mean, let me tell you why. Cheaters have two Instagram accounts. What? I'm going to okay. tell you why cheaters have two in, Instagram okay. accounts. How many accounts do you have? I only got one. None, really, because it's just this joint podcast. Right, but so I'm going to tell you why. All right, I'm going to tell you why. Because the one account that they... Is a different especially, name. Especially women. Especially women. Okay. Because they will tag some of their... There, they had a little hot body. Oh, I like him. Then, uh, let me double tap. So you double think tap, it's in a different tap, name? Double tap. Oh, yes, on a different name. Okay. Then what they do is they'll DM from that their original account. Okay. You know what I mean? Because the account that they're, you're double tapping, the algorithm won't pick up from your original account. Oh, okay. And okay. with that account, you can do whatever you want. You yeah, know that's what I mean? too much. Yeah. That's the, I, I don't have that much time. I'm a busy woman. Business is going on, so for me to be putting that much thought, yeah, she go lying, y'all. That much thought is just too much. Because no, I'm gonna tell you, let, let, me, tell let you. me tell you something. Let I do you. have an Instagram. I do have a uh-huh. Facebook. Uh-huh. I do not have a uh-huh. TikTok. But that's all I mean. That's all I have. I don't. I'm not active Where's on you them. A big cop. I have a taco. <laughs> That I'm gonna tell you I'm, that, I'm gonna that, that, that 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 needs some sauce. Oh lordy! <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what my Tita, taco needs some some nice warm sauce. See, Tita type woman, she walk up to you and double tap you on your chin. Uh, that means that means she like you. She like this. <laughs> she like what the hell is that? Oh, that's my heart. <laughs> oh. She like I like you and I want you. <laughs> Oh my God, you we could do this the easy way, no, thank or we could do this the hard way. No, nope. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting me that easy. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh man, she's she, 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 she talking about coochie soap. <laughs> 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 oh, so look, let's go. Let's go to. Let's do. No, let's do two more comments. Let's do two All more right, comments. Go ahead. So the problem, the problem says, so you self snitching? Yes, he is snitching. Hey. He isn't because he's giving away some of well, our of all, trade, I mean, I mean, some of our, the men's secrets. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, that's not like it's something new. I mean, but uh, but like he said, a lot of women they don't know. They be like, oh my man, he be too busy. He be jet flying all over the place. 
and he don't have no. He too busy to have an Instagram account. That's because they too dumb to not realize and what the hell he what he what the hell he got going on. Yeah, because a I'm whole other family. Of, look, I'm the type of person now. I'll, I'll sit there. I'll sit back, and then I'm going to start realizing, noticing. You know, you know the the, and I'm like, all right, Wait, he knows the, what's going uh, on. The, the way he switch up. Hey, y'all always do. Y'all always do. You got to pay attention. You got to sit back, pay attention. Last comment. See, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put y'all business out there like that. But last comment. But Delvin's room. It's the inconsistent creatures y'all are. <laughs> <laughs> Just like y'all are the unstable creatures, we are the inconsistent yes. creatures. All right. So Delvin, Delvin's room says, <laughs> "There goes the bro code." Give it, Delvin. Yeah. First of all, Delvin, let me tell you something, bro. The bro code went out 10 years ago, man. Right. These guys coming up now, they ain't got no bro code. Mm. It's crazy because... They'll snitch on you in a minute. <clears throat> this was years ago. It was this guy I was talking to. He came on to me or whatever, and this was on, I want to say Instagram. Mm -hmm. And we started to get to know he each other. He slid in your DMs? Yes, he did. What? And we started talking or whatever. And then when I told him like no i'm good like you know yeah. i guess he thought that i was going to be one of those type of chicks and he had money i thought he i guess he thought i was gonna be one of them type of chicks that he could just get real easy yeah we met up twice maybe three times nothing ever happened guess what he did, did. He take you out he, but yeah we went out but okay. guess what he did after the third time he what blocked me i guess he was like okay oh, well damn block your ass <laughs> first of all i never ever at any point Gave him that inclination that anything was going to happen. But guess what he did? After he blocked me, don't you know he started posting pictures of his family that they were like when they was on vacation? <laughs> I'm like... Because he, he didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> but at that point, he knew I couldn't see. I, I saw it from somebody else's page. Yeah. I blocked you too. I'm like, Man, you're out and wasting my money and I couldn't get a chance to smell it. Yeah, I blocked you that's, too. That's his fault. No, I ain't. How dare you be? That's so, his loss, too. How dare you like, be so look, stingy? But see, at the end of the day, hey, I'm good because I don't want none of that. You know, you, you know what? The uh -huh. idea for a new YouTube show. Oh, Lord. At the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> what? At the end of the day. All right, and so what's this YouTube show? You know, nope. At don't the end even, of the don't, day. Don't even. We're going to, at the end of the day, we're going we're gonna to start filming about 530, 540, because that's the end of the day. <laughs> and are you are are you okay I'm over there? <laughs> you what, you, 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 you take a sip. You take a sip or something. <laughs> Go ahead, put that in your mouth. I take a sip. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> my my good mouth. Yes, you can eat me out. <laughs> a nasty hey, no, who, remember, yo. who remember that song? <laughs> <laughs> put, <laughs> Don't know nothing about that, y'all. All right. How <laughs> dare y'all not know that song? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. And subscribe. Yeah, then tell us what you think, God damn. This joint podcast. So are we are we we going we slide into the video number five? All right, video number five. Video number five. Oh my gosh, time cinco. flies. Video number cinco. Can, oh, we, oh. can we say number cinco? <clears throat> can we say number cinco? Can you say can you say number in English and then cinco Spanish? No, I think it's just cinco. Uh. Hold up. CJ in the comments. Ask him since he knows Spanish so much. CJ, can we say number cinco or is it just cinco? Just cinco. You know what I'm saying? Tell us. But so, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. While anyway. we waiting for you to respond, we're going to yeah. go to number five. Question. What? <laughs> Answer. <laughs> what do you think would happen if you put $100 in the church offering and you thought it was $10? What do you think what would happen? Would you think you'd get your money back? I don't think you can. Because once you. It's a church offering. A why, why wouldn't you? But if it was made by mistake. They don't know that because once you get that money, it's like you see you, you you're done. You I cooked. think so. No more money. I think so because to them it's an offering. It's your tithe or whatever. A, what? You know what? We're peanut that. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. I pulls up the church's chicken. The lady said my order was fourteen dollars and something. I go in my purse to pull out the hundred dollar bill. I done fooled around and put the hundred dollar bill in the offering. I sped away from the drive through window. I told the pastor I made a mistake, put the wrong bill. He gonna say, Sister Tasha, you can't take back from the church. I said, Pastor, that 
is all the money that I have. I intended on putting $10 in the church. He gonna say, we in the middle of a meeting and we can't do nothing about that, Sister Tasha. You can't take back from the church. Now you wanna rob the church? I better go to jail. I'm on my way back to the church. Give me my hundred dollars. The pastor keep playing with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. She is crazy. I'm sorry, man. Come on, man. You got pastor. You Sister gotta get Tasha. a lady back her money. Sister Tasha, Sister Tasha, Sister Tasha. Now, <laughs> you were that much in the Holy Spirit that you done gave the church a hundred dollars and you missed you ain't know. ten. First of all, why didn't you separate your church offer before you left the house? Yeah. You wouldn't have that problem. Can you? I mean, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, what? Ah, uh, what? Because I know when you sometimes when you got your money wrapped up, you, you always put your big bills over top of the smaller bills. But ain't no way yeah, in hell got, I'm know, giving somebody a hundred dollars that I meant to give ten. I'm going to really pay attention to what's in my wallet. I mean, uh, I, I mean, she probably was <laughs> sipping a little bit before she got there. <laughs> I mean, the, look, I mean, but wait a minute, but wait a Tasha minute. Tasha was doing something because you know when she is like really like, <laughs> yo, she was on that highway, boy. She was on, she was on ninety five doing ninety five. She said, Pastor, I'm on my way back. I need my offering back. I can't get my church's chicken. Hey, hey, Says Tasha, you can't rob from the church. That's she said, I'm going to jail. We in a meeting. <laughs> They're in the meeting, all right? They're like, oh, what good shit? Like, we about to go get our right. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> come oh on, man. I mean, you got to be. Come on, man. You, I mean, true. I mean, listen, I ain't going to lie. But there have been times where I have spent. I'm like, oh, oh let me put ain't that no, back. No, let me put that back. He, yo, no you take this right here. Did I ever gave somebody more money than I, than I thought? Nope, nope, nope. I pay attention too much. Nope. But do you keep your bills wrapped up? <clears throat> I, I don't wrap them up like I keep them in my wallet, but I keep them in certain increments so I know what's what. Ain't no way in hell the ten dollar bill is with the hundred dollar bill. So you don't think that she could easily made a mistake? Cause, you know that's just one zero off when you're looking. Oh shit! No ten. The ten dollar bill don't look nothing like the hundred dollar bill. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out, Sister Tasha. No, shit. Sister Tasha, <laughs> Sister Tasha, listen here, okay? You cannot take your money back. That that money was a gift to God. But to no, the church. come on, no, come on, come on, T, come on, T, T. So you mean to tell me they can give her her money back? I mean, I guess it's up to. I the mean, church. it ain't like it ain't like a a, a fuck. Oh, excuse me. It ain't like a a safe where they just put it in and, yeah, that's and true, they can't but I mean, open I that guess safe it's, or something. It's up to the church, and obviously she was still. First of all. So shout out to Sister Tasha because that whole eyeglasses, her glasses, and then her dress. She was she very was, churchy. She was all coordinated. What? Because I'm like, hold up. That's kind of cute. Sister Tasha was clean. <laughs> she was clean. So I'm pretty boy. sure, Sister Tasha, you got a hundred, another hundred dollar bill at home. That's all the money she had. Mm. Stop play- Man, y'all better stop playing with Sister Tasha. She gonna, she'll burn that church down to the ground. Right. Corner. You know she, I mean? she said, I'm, 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 I'm running down the highway. <laughs> Since the tires was on 95, doing 95. So wait a minute. So look, so let's go to the comment. Let's go to the comment. So comment one from uh, Kia Shea. Kia say <laughs> they're meeting on what they're going to do with. Uh, no, they're meeting on how they're going to spend your money. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they Hers are. and everybody else's. <laughs> Yo, look, can you imagine somebody saw that? Yo, somebody gave $100. Man. I, lunch, I, I, on, look, l- lunch on you. That happens. Look, that's if somebody ain't take it out along the way. Hey, you never know what them. You know what? You never know what them you know, guys you, do with the with them baskets. Yo, you just you just spark my interest, man. Can you, can you imagine the offering come around? You see a hundred dollar bill. It's like, oh damn! It's like, you're hmm. like this, shit. <laughs> and you put a dollar in that jar. Pass it over. <laughs> like, Sister Tasha, we ain't get no hundred dollar bill this week. Yes, you did. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Sister Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That hundred dollars that stopped at the end of the damn bitch. Right, right. <laughs> All right, so the second comment. Second comment is from Hey is Amy. So Hey is Amy says, We're laughing, and this lady is so serious. <laughs> she probably broke, man. She, her heart is hurting right now. Her heart is hurting. Because that, that was cutting into her budget. That was that was her budget money. 
First of all, if she was if that if she was on a budget, she shouldn't have been going to the store to buy no for, no food for no fifteen dollars. Yeah, you know what I mean. Go, go home and cook your food because first of all, you know. I don't know why. It's it Sunday. Is. She was going to church. You know, anybody, you know, everybody go to church look, on Sunday. Look, and that's what I was going to say because it'd be so yeah. crowded on crowded Sundays. Like <laughs> everybody get out of church. Like, no matter where you go, like, the market be crowded. Everywhere you go is crowded. <laughs> look, let me. To the owners of churches, chicken, you want to increase your profits? You need to put a churches next to every church. Oh, wow. I guarantee when they get out of church, they go right to churches. Look, they probably right gonna, next door. They, they probably gonna leave before they even finish out of the, the devotion. They go, what? Hey, <laughs> listen. They be in an offering, putting drumsticks in that joint. Boom, pass it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm trying to tell you. You want to increase your profits? Oh God! Put a churches next to every church. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's yes, how you yes. gonna make money. <laughs> oh, so now you now you now you teaching them with some marketing skills. Yeah, you know, I mean listen, you know, not to make money, goddamn. <laughs> I make money, goddamn. All right, look, look. Cool kids seventy five seventy five says Pastor <laughs> Pastor said we already bought lunch with your money. <laughs> yes they did. Yes they did. <laughs> Oh, oh man. That, and, and that's gonna be their breakfast for tomorrow too. That's look, that's enough for the whole week. Yeah. Listen. Hundred dollars? Hey. I'm I bet you when she got there, Pastor said, We didn't see no hundred dollar right. bill. Right. No. I guarantee you, Pastor said. Look, that. they could have been honest. I mean, cause hey, if if one of them deacons took it out, like you said, put a dollar <laughs> bill in there, a five dollar bill. <laughs> hey, we ain't getting a hundred dollar bill. He probably he probably listen, let me tell you something. He took out that hunter <laughs> and put in a ten. <laughs> And he passed that thing along. Because look, it, it, I've <laughs> never seen not one camera inside of a church, especially like, you know, where they have like the services. So yeah. who knows what happens? Or, who or knows even what in happens? the office. Right. Who knows what happens in between them getting your money and taking it to the back wherever, whatever, wherever they take it. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Quick poll. Do you think she got any of that money back? What do you think? I don't know. Because I mean, there was no updated video to this. No. So, I mean, hey, if, if she's been at the church for a while and they know her and she's never, you know, pulled no stunt like this yeah. before, I would hope that they would. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because people, yeah. look, people, people having hard times down these days. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're struggling out here, man. Economy doing bad. Yeah. So, God I damn. mean, I would hope that they would. You know what I mean? This joint podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Like- Y'all tell us what you think. God damn. And subscribe. Yeah. You know what it is, man. So wait a minute. T. Honey dip tea. <laughs> <laughs> then we, we already had this discussion earlier, all right? Spicy hot habanero tea. Whatever. It's just honey dip tea. Mm-hmm. I'm sweet. Yeah. Oh my God. Whatever, habanero man. is not sweet. Whatever, man. So look, man, what we listen, this is YouTube. This is what we about to say to y'all. Uh oh. <laughs> Bye bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we are